Hey everyone, this is Craig from OrgSpring, and today we are going to be discussing Google Drive. Google Drive is a new service offering from Google, and you may have read about this or even seen videos about it online um, in a lot of areas. And today we're going to walk you through setting up your Google Drive with your computer. It doesn't matter whether you use a Mac or a PC, it's the same process. And we are going to show you some of the cooler features of Google Drive. Most of what we're going to do today is geared toward nonprofits and how they can use Google Drive to their advantage. Uh, but really, these are applicable for any type of organization, um, even your personal things. So we're going to uh, discuss how to get into it, how to use it, how to install it, how to work with it. Basically, everything that you might need to know to use and take advantage of Google Drive. So to start off, you head to the Google Drive location, and you can do that one of two ways. You can just go to your main Google and type in Google Drive as a search, and you'll see it here. Or you could just simply go up to the address bar, drive.google.com, which is similar to any of the other services that Google has, voice.google.com, docs.google.com. So, and what we'll do is we will just discuss some of the general features and you can see here on the features page you can click and take a look at all of the different features it offers and we'll discuss these just briefly give you an idea of what they allow you to do so create and collaborate uh, in the back-end settings of Google Drive we'll show you in a few moments uh, they're lumping in Drive and Docs and in fact uh, Docs will eventually go away and what you know right now as Google Docs will actually be Google Drive so you can create documents um, like word, pressing doc, uh, sorry, word processing documents, spreadsheet documents, drawing documents, workflow, uh, flowcharts, things like that. And you can share them with people in your domain, your organization, if you use Google Apps, or if you just have a, a Gmail or a standard Google account, you could share them with other people to collaborate on those documents with you. Uh, you can actually see them in real time as those documents are being changed by the person with whom you're sharing. And I'll show you that uh, as we move along as well. That's one of the great ways for nonprofits to use Google Drive and Google Docs in general is to be able to share and collaborate. For instance, let's say you have a grant writer who is working on a grant. You can create the budget for your grant in a Google spreadsheet and share that spreadsheet with your grant writer who might be developing and writing your grant in a Google Doc and importing that spreadsheet into the Google Doc. Obviously Google Drive makes that possible and you can see that document as they are editing it. You can also edit that document yourself and leave notes for the person writing the grant. This eliminates the need to go back and forth with large files over email. You could just exist completely on Google Drive and the beauty of it is it doesn't take a lick of space on your actual computer. Obviously Google Drive integrates with Gmail and Google Plus. Uh, you can share files through Gmail uh, if you want to send a file to somebody or a link to a file through email you can do that and the integration with Google Plus is really amazing. One of the things it offers is the ability to share files, photos, videos, links, maps directly through your Google Plus social network. And you can share directly from your Google Drive. You can also share from your phone, which isn't too much different than the functionality available now on uh, the social network and other social networks, but from your phone you can access your Google Drive, upload things directly to your Google Drive and and that's a little bit different than what things like Apple is offering with their cloud and obviously different than what Facebook is offering. They don't have a partner program. They obviously bought Instagram to be able to do that but Google has really taken this a step further with the integration through all their services, all their platforms, and their social network. You can also use your Google Drive as a search engine. You can use your browser and search for things that are located on your Google Drive. Now your Google Drive can also be downloaded to your hard drive, or at least the software can be downloaded so that you can 
take files directly from your computer and put them into the drive and sync back and forth. That's the beauty of the Google Drive to be able to keep everything up to date. It works similar to the way the new Mac OS works in that every time you change a file it is automatically saved, it is automatically updated. If you want to save different versions of a file and be able to go back to those different versions in time, you can save a version inside Google Drive. This is almost completely identical to the Apple OS functionality like I mentioned before. Google gives you automatically updated on Google Drive the last 30 days of updates, but you can save a different version of that file going back as long as you want. The other great thing about Google Drive is the number of file types that it handles. Now, Google tells you right here that it handles over 30 file types, including everything from HD video to Adobe files, like your standard PDFs, which we know Google handles well, even to files like Adobe Illustrator, which are uh, graphical files. A lot of times logo designers use that. Uh, and Photoshop, which can be everything from editing photos to creating websites. So uh, they've really done a great job in incorporating different file types that you can upload and view directly in your browser, whether or not you have the necessary software locally on your hard drive to actually edit or view those types of files doesn't matter. Google allows you to do it right there. So that's a really great way to review items that might be coming in that you need to take a look at for your organization without necessarily having thousands of dollars worth of software on your computer that you need to just take a quick peek at these files. And then of course, we mentioned this before, Google Drive integrates with a lot of different apps that are made specifically for Google and Google Chrome. And you can also integrate with other apps and developers that are making their software available for use with Google Drive. We mentioned sharing already, and this is one of the benefits of using Google and the Google sharing uh, social network. It's very granular with the way you can share files and share status updates and posts. You can uh, really narrow it down to an individual person, a group of people through the Google circles, or uh, different types uh, of segments or groups that you have set up already in your social network through Google+. And this does not change with Google Drive. This is actually fully integrated and you can share specific or individual files with specific people or groups of people. Uh, and you can also set whether they can just view or edit. This is old Google Docs functionality that has been updated to work throughout Google Drive and the apps that work with it. And then, of course, you can uh, just reply, comment, and get feedback on files through the commenting sections of the Google Docs. Again, this isn't specifically new functionality, although the functionality is updated to work with Google Drive, and it's actually quite good. There are some really interesting features, and this works almost like if you think of like a Microsoft Office uh, or Microsoft Word comment tracking features. This works a lot like that, although in my opinion, it's a lot easier to use than the comment tracking in the Microsoft system. So this is a quick overview of the features that you'll get with Google Drive. And in the next video, we're going to talk about how you can sign up for Google Drive and start using it right away.